What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the F12W, the foldable RC quadcopter, also called the folding man. It's got the air pressure sensor, so that means it's got altitude hold, and this one also has Wi-Fi phone control, so we're going to have Wi-Fi FPV, and that is the QR codes to download the Wi-Fi phone app, and I believe this one also uses the V s ufo wi-fi phone app free in the app store so you can go ahead and download that and check it out so let's go ahead and open up this box and check this baby out all right i got all of the contents out of the box and we have the remote control a little futuristic looking remote control we also have a phone clip spring loaded looking pretty nice i'm assuming it goes in the back here on the remote control yeah there's a little thing right here you take that off and you put this one in its place and it locks in place and tilt adjustable and there's a little screw to tighten up the um, connection there so it holds it in place pretty nice looking phone clip actually so that's that we get a bag of goodies here a couple of props screwdriver and a usb charge cable and some screws and we do get a set of prop guards pretty cool looking prop guards i'm gonna uh, leave that on the side i'm not gonna fly with the prop guards so let's put that on the side as well so we are ready and here is the quadcopter right here foldable design guys but uh it's not the traditional folding from the side this one kind of folds in one direction so it kind of like you can open it up oops did i just click that on oh, there's a little knob over here you can press and it locks in place it locks in place you press it and then you fold it and you're supposed to press it and then release it okay so let's go ahead and do that to all of the arms here and oh yeah looking pretty nice it says fly to world it's got some orange design that is looking pretty nice and it's got the similar props like the SEMA type props as well geared motors of course and that's where you stick in the um, prop guards if you want to stick the prop guards in and what is that like a little push button type of release mechanism for the prop guards let me just go ahead and check that out so you can go ahead and slide this prop guards in press that button slide it in and it locks in place check that out hey that is fantastic you don't have to screw anything in with a screwdriver and press that little lever you see that little button you press it down and it kind of releases the hold of the prop guards and there's right there a little notch right there so it holds it in place so it doesn't slide out hey that is a nice little design okay so that is that and taking a look right onto the bottom here and oh we got a lot of stuff on the bottom here so we got some fold out landing legs looks like but they're kind of flimsy okay so if you fold it out and you put it in to those little holes there and lock it in place and look at that it's holding pretty good so fold out landing legs so that's that and check it out there you go and it's standing pretty good that's not bad that's pretty nice uh we got the wi-fi uh camera right here i believe this is a 0 0.3 megapixel i'm pretty sure that's what it is looks like it tilts okay but it doesn't go all the way up it seems like it should but it's not going all the way up guys it is kind of stuck right there there's some kind of a plastic thing right on the top that's preventing it from going any further up huh if that wasn't there it'll probably go up a little bit more and go straight but unfortunately I'm stuck with a camera that is angling down somewhat so we're gonna get a lot of ground shots with this one guys unless you go in there and snip off and chop off some of that plastic up in there to make it so that it go up a little bit that would have been really nice kind of looks like the mjx 6100 eyes doesn't it yeah i think those light up too i believe they're blue in color led lights 
Let's see if there's any other LED lights. I believe there's some kind of LED lights in the back right there. Kind of like a V-shaped design. Anyways, uh, let's go and take a look at the bottom. We've got an on and off switch. Thank you very much. And we've got the Wi-Fi antenna. And this looking like the battery bay door. And you just open it up. And there is the battery. Let's take that battery out. It was already plugged in. I haven't charged this battery guys. I just looked at it really quick and realized that it was a uh, CMA X5C style battery, which I have tons of, so I didn't even charge this battery up. So there you have it guys. The battery is a looking like a 500 milliamp 3.7 volts, which I have plenty of. So we're gonna have lots of battery to test out this baby here. All right, so that is that for the quadcopter. And let's take a look at the remote control here. Pretty nice looking orange uh, sticks. And they're look, feeling pretty good too. Yeah, very smooth. And we got altitude hold. And there's the on and off switch right there. Just hit that and on and off switch. Nice. This should be the speed changing button here. Did I turn it on? Okay, I turned it off. I turned it on. Okay. Okay. So we got three speeds. All right. And this button here is the flip button. And do the direction of the flip that you want. And it also beeps, uh, telling you that it wants to do a flip. That looks like an emergency stop button here. Well, the reason why I'm kind of running through this, I checked it out last night and figured all of this stuff out because uh, this one did not come with a um, instruction manual, guys. So I have no idea what all of these buttons did. So I had to turn it on and try and uh, work it out myself here. All of these on the outside are trim buttons here. How you tell if it's a trim button? Well, if you go to the right and go back, when you go back twice and go to the right twice, when you go back to the center of that trim, it will long beep. And this one's as well. That's the center of the beep uh, or the trim. So I know these are trim buttons. So on the left side is marked. That looks like headless mode. And this looks like a one key return. There's the uh, photo button, but this is a Wi-Fi FPV unit. So you're gonna take your photos and videos using the Wi-Fi phone app. So these does not work. Uh, S slash L. I found out that is a one key uh, to take off and land, but the one key to take off part, it just arms the motors. But the one key to land part does uh, work. So when your quadcopter is flying and you hit this button, it will land automatically. Okay, so that is that. Uh, the throttle button and the pitch does not have any functions. So that, those are the functions of the remote control. Now there is, however, a way to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter, both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate. As you can see, the lights went on to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter. So let's go for a little flight with the F12W, the foldable RC quad, the folding man quadcopter. All right, we got the folding man quadcopter ready to go. I got it turned on, I got it bounded and everything, but I tried jimmying that camera so it could go a little bit higher. I just could not do that. Um, I was gonna break it somewhat. So I decided I'm just gonna leave it just the way it's angling down somewhat. But I did relocate myself to next to the little lake over here. So when it's up, it will angle down. At least we're looking at some better scenery than the desert floor on the opposite side of the park. So we are ready to go. I got it bounded and I got the Wi-Fi app already started here. So I'm gonna leave it on the ground here. And uh, I got it connected. I got Wi-Fi FPV. So what we're gonna do now is check that out. I'm gonna take some photos. There you go, one photo there. See how much I gotta angle up the quadcopter to take a, a horizon photo. Nice, lake photos this time, guys. Not of the desert. The same old building and the mountains and the back of my car thing. 
yeah, you guys get a little treat this time around. So take another photo of the lake, which is a fantastic view here. All right, more photos of the lake. <laughs> take advantage of that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that video button. So yeah, it is flashing in red. So I know it is uh, taking a photo or taking a video and I'm going to hook it up. Okay, what did I do? Did a flip. Okay, I'm gonna hook it up to my phone clip. I did not uh, bring a screwdriver, so I did not tighten that little uh, thing. So I'm just gonna leave it at the down position and I'm able to still see the uh, Wi-Fi uh, video feed here. So this is the one key to take off and one key to land, but uh, when you press it, it's just arming. So there you go, armed it. Now you physically have to take off. So there you go. And we got altitude hold on this baby here. And that is looking, oh my God. That is stable stability at its best. Check that out. I'm not even touching the remote. Yeah, it's taking a nice little video of the lake, I hope. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? It just did a flip. I just uh, pitched it back and it did an automatic flip. Okay, speed number three, speed number one. Maybe um, that little button press, uh, it was lingering on that. Hey, hey it's not doing a flip now. That is odd. Anyway, do I have video? Yes, I do have video. It's very hard to see, but I do have video and I'm taking a video of the water shoreline. So I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. So you guys can check out the lake. It's coming down really hard and I almost lost it guys. Okay, I think the battery has just died. Yeah, you know what guys, I think I have uh, installed a battery that I did not charge on here. I got mixed up with some of the other batteries. So let me go ahead and change out the batteries and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back with the new battery. I'm gonna start the recording one more time. Hitting the start, starting off in speed number one. All right. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, cruising right around here. So there you go. Take a little video of the park. The sun is a blazing. There we go. Very smooth flyer, man. Wow, look at that hover. And I'm not touching the remote control and there is no breeze whatsoever. Let me go ahead and put my shades on. All right, looking fantastic. Okay, bring it down in altitude a little bit. Bring it right in front of us. Yeah, look at that hover, guys. Look at this thing, wow. Check it out, very nice. Nice.
Wow. Woohoo! Nice. Man, I've never seen a more stable quadcopter that falls out like this. Unbelievable. Okay. There's a flip for you. Now it is doing flips. Backward flip. Forward flip. And it comes down. I didn't touch the throttle that time around. The first two times I did touch the throttle. There you go. I didn't touch the throttle. So it does work pretty good. Not bad. Going to speed number two here. It's got a little bit more pitch, a little bit more control, a lot more speed. Very nice, man. Very nice. Excellent. Let me raise it up. Take a video of the lake. I'm going to tilt it back a little bit. Let me bring it forward. Now that was speed number two. So we're going to go down and bring it in closer. Okay, let's go speed number three. Okay, it's got a lot more faster yaw and a lot more faster pitch. And looks like it's doing fantastic. It's got a lot more speed. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very nice, guys. Awesome. So it is nice that the battery bay is big enough for a 600 milliamp battery as well. And that is what I'm using right now. So I have tons of those from previous quadcopters. So there you go, guys. The lake. I'm kind of right above the lake. Going backwards just a little bit. There we go. Nice. Let me shoot that way a little bit here. Yeah, this thing's got a uh, pretty good distance too. It's way up there too, man. Don't want it falling. Okay, let's bring it down. Nice, huh? Awesome. It is working fantastic. Now, I'm not sure which way I bounded it. I think I bounded looking at the lake. So let's do a headless mode. Oops. Nope. Headless mode is this way going forward. So I'm going to resituate myself. That's the northbound and this is the southbound. Okay. So always face the northbound when you're doing the headless mode so you know which way you're going here. Sorry about the sun. Going to the left. Going to the right with the full yaw to the left coming back towards me, pushing it away from me. So headless mode works fantastic. Getting out of the headless mode. Now the quadcopter is facing me. So I'm going to hit that one key to return and it's facing me and it's coming towards me. How cool is that? There you go. Getting out of the one key return by redirecting your pitch and it gets you out of the one key return. Nice. So let's say I am right over here and that is the northbound and the quadcopter is facing to the left i'm going to hit that one key to return and there you go even though it's facing to the left it's still coming back to the southbound position and you can also hit that one key to return button and stop its path and take control again so fantastic they all work very well all of these quadcopters with the headless mode and one key return work fantastic i've not had one that kind of not work very well. Maybe there's one or two, but most of them do work very well. So there we go. And it's getting a little bit sluggish here, I'm thinking, but the light is pretty bright. Okay, the 
light in the back is blinking and it has decided to land itself and hover and there we go it landed itself and the motors cut off nice all right we got the folding man out here once again but this time we are in the grassy area of the park i got the wi-fi phone app connected and we are ready to go so we're going to take off a little demonstration flight with the wi-fi phone app so i got it all uh, turned on I got it on 100% and I've turned on the displays. I can't really see it. It's pretty dark There is an altitude hold button that you can press and what it does is it brings up the one kilo takeoff and one kilo land Let me take a screenshot of that so I can show you There we go, so I'm gonna hit that one kilo takeoff button and the quadcopter will take off automatically check this out nice and the controls on this one is the right way left yaw is left yaw and the right yaw is right yaw nice going forward that is my top speed at a hundred percent coming back towards me and pushing it forward so it does not have the same speed as the hard remote but it's very easy to control and it's very accurate. Check that out. Not much latency. Going forward, coming back. Now, this is because I'm very close to it. I think the uh, control range is about 50 meters or so, something like that, but that's good enough right here. Not bad, not bad, huh? I'm able to yaw and fly this thing just like I'm flying it with the hard remote. Check that out. Yaw the other way. Nice. Don't go too close to the trees and get comfortable. Yep, might not get it back. And I don't have a stick high enough for this type of big trees like that. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That is the virtual sticks. And because of the altitude hold on this thing, that is holding so nicely it is fantastic it's just hovering at a fantastic altitude now let me see if it does flips ha 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 it does flips on this one to the left nice you can do flips with the phone app okay so one more time rear flip this time and nice completely nice man this is a nice quad man and it's so stable. They should call this thing a uh, stable folding man. Nice. Look at that. Okay. Enough of that. And let's go forward just a little bit. And let's check out the gyro, which is right here. There we go. Forward. Backward. And the gyro function is working fantastic. Or it's, sometimes they're calling this the gravity mode. The G sensor mode. The gyro sensor mode and all that kind of stuff. So that's okay. I'll just call it the G mode. Yeah. Just tilt your phone. You can control the car cutter with the tilting action of your phone. Coming back towards me. Going forward. It's just a fantastic little feature, man. My kids get a kick out of that. And you can connect to your iPad, you can connect to your iPod, Android device. As long as you can download the VSUFO app, this functionality will work. Just a fantastic functionality in my opinion. Man, check that out. Not bad, huh? Let me go ahead and yaw to the right a little bit. Wait a minute. Yaw to the left. And now that's forward. And that's backward. Awesome. Raise it up in altitude. Oop, did I just yaw again? Okay, let me go ahead and grab that controller a little bit better and raise it up a little bit more and do a final little run with uh, G mode. Oh, that's pretty far. Still got control. Check that out. Not bad at all. Wham! Nice. And let's see it hover. And do a flip nice g mode controlled flips check that out 
<laughs> nice! Oops, maybe I didn't hit that button. Okay, come on back this way. Come on back this way. Look at that. Okay, let me bring you right over here and do one more flip. Nice! Fantastic! Awesome! Okay, let me hit that gyro mode function again and let me bring it down with the virtual sticks. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go ahead and use the one key to land. One key to land. Whoa, it's coming down pretty fast. <laughs> it just makes a beeline to the ground. All right. All right, just got done flying the Folding Man quadcopter with the virtual sticks of the phone app as well as the hard remote over there by the lake and it did fantastic. It's one of the nice quadcopters right here guys. The only thing unfortunate is the camera angle that is facing down. I'm pretty sure you might be able to get in there and snip away at some of that plastic and make it tilt up a little bit more. Then that would be just awesome. Uh, the remote control worked fantastic and all of the functions in the phone app work fantastic as well. Um, the gyro mode was fantastic and I even did flips with the gyro control. I think that's one of the first times I ever did that. I'm not sure. Maybe I did it before but that was fantastic. Just hit that button and do the uh, direction of the flip you want with the phone like that. Just tilt it forward and it does a forward flip tilt it back and it does a backward flip so fantastic and I have to say one more time what a stable quadcopter this is I might end up putting a all-in-one VTX and taking it for a spin through those trees and the pavilion maybe so maybe I'll do that at the end of this video all right so there you have it guys that is it for now for the folding man quadcopter thank you very much for tuning in and watching and have a great day and we'll see you again